Hello everyone, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. We're gonna pick up where we left off last time, except not because I forgot to go and put the characters back where they were standing last time while I was doing quests off screen, so I'm a complete liar and I apologize for such. But anyways, we're gonna be going back to Makonis Field. I was playing as Ricky because I was trying to get affinity with him up with everyone because he had the worst affinity out of the entire squad. Which sucks for him. <laughs> How much affinity did I get Ricky up? I think I have him at level 2 with Fiora and Sharla now. Yes, he's still only level 1 with Ryan and Melia. I couldn't get them up to level 2 yet. He's level 3 with Dunban and level 2 with Shulk. But anyways, you know what? So long as I'm not back at Makonis Field, let's do some heart-to-hearts. And then we'll go back to Makonis Field. Because I don't think we have that many heart-to-hearts available to do. Because a lot of the heart-to-hearts, as you can see, need level freaking 4 and 5. And I don't have those yet. Uh, da, da, da. I know we have at least one in Frontier Village. Yeah, with Ricky and Shulk, we can do that, because they're level 2. And, uh, Melia and Dunban are level 2, we can do that one. Uh, Aerith C with Ricky and Sharla. And then Alchemoth with Fiora and Ricky, Fiora and Melia, and then Fiora and Dunban. Fallen Arm with Fiora and Sharla. And that's all we have. Okay, well, so we only have one in, uh, Frontier Village then? It seems? One available, I mean. No, we have two. Melia and Dunban, and then Ricky and Shulk. So let's... It, definitely, we're at least going to get those two. So let's switch Shulk into the party. And get that one done. Uh, I don't know where it would be. Uh, it could be this one right here, actually. That'd be very convenient. It is! At the Pollen Works. Look at that. That was handy. I have to read these, don't I? Achoo! Frontier Village's famous pollen works. Wow, Ricky. Great machine. Is it all made from wood? Uh, tut tut tut. Shulk say wrong word. This is not machine. Uh, why? Because of the mechon? Because it's not made of metal? Uh, I don't know which one to... I don't know which one to say. Because it's not made of metal? Yes. Yay, Shulk right. Machine has metal. Uh, no pun device use no metal, so not called machine. What do you call it? Now that I think, I haven't noticed a lot of metal in the village. Uh, Ricky and Nopon at one with the forest. If forests not have metal, Nopon not use metal. Uh, that's very resourceful of you. Is all of it from the forest? Uh, let's just say this. Yes, I got it right again. Long, long time ago, Nopon make many, many things. I'm impressed. I'd love to know more about these pollen orbs, too. They light up and produce heat, but they never burn up. Yellow and blue orbs are safe to eat, but red one, not so safe. I saw a red one by the lift. It looked tasty enough. Shulk want to eat red one? Ricky not like red ones. Ricky's stomach go thump thump, then squeal squeal. Funny noises. If Shulk eat and finish whole red one, Ricky gives Shulk metal, okay? Sounds like a challenge to me. Ricky no need red orb anyway, Oka make yummy food for Ricky. Uh, is that what makes you so bouncy? Maybe I need to eat more orbs, so you can bounce more? Alright, that was cool. Now we get Dunban back in, because I've already got Melia in the party, so Dunban and Melia is next. Uh, I should be able to open up the map and figure out where it's at. We'll just go from the ground floor up. It's actually probably at the uh, top floor. Oh, there's one right there, actually, next to uh, Ricky's house. Look at that one. I can walk to that one. Uh, nothing at top housing. There's one over here. It's probably that one. And then there's one at Apex Lake. So, unless there is another one further down, it's got to be one of those. Where's the one that I just saw that was on the map? Down this way? No, it was on the same level. So, this way. It's got to be right up here. Yeah, at Ricky's house. If it's at Ricky's house, it's probably someone with Ricky at a high level affinity. Uh, yeah, Ricky and Dunban maxed out. Don't have that yet. They're only level 3. Probably talking about children and stuff, because, you know, they're like the two oldest. Technically, Melia is the oldest, but... She acts like she's not the oldest. <laughs> I need to go up to the Mysterious Sanctuary and check that one to see if it's Melia and Dunban, and if it's not, then it has to be the one at Apex Lake, which is the very top. Is it called Apex Lake? I think that's what it said it was called. All right, the other one I saw should be right up here at the Mysterious Shrine. It wasn't actually at the shrine, it was off to the side part of it, I think. This is the chief's house, a little higher. Should have just fast-traveled, but, you know, 
When have I ever been clever? Over here, yeah. Is this it? Uh, Fiora and Sharla, level 4 affinity. Which they should be close to. I think they're level 3 affinity. So we'll be doing that heart-to-heart, -heart, hopefully not too far into the future. A lot of the hearts-to-hearts -hearts are going to be done in the post-game, though. Is it this one? Uh, Ricky and Melia. Ricky and Melia? Oh, that's right. They're not level 2 affinity yet. I was about to say, aren't they? Uh, Ricky to Melia and Ricky to Ryan are the last ones to only be level 1 affinity. For Ricky, at least. There might be others with still level 1 affinity. Who still has level 1 affinity besides Ricky? Obviously, Ryan and Melia do, but do they have any level 1 affinities not to Ricky? Uh, none for Shulk. Not for Sharla. Level 1 affinity from Fiora to Ryan. Gotta fix that. Uh, and then Melia to Ryan. I need... Next time I do missions off screen, I if I'm not playing as Ricky, I need to play as Ryan. Because he needs more affinity with... Melia and Fiora. So I need to try and get that. This has got to be it. Is this it? Uh, true Natures. This is it. This flower is much like one that used to grow by Aerith Sea. Used to? You mean it doesn't anymore? Alas, the breed was wiped out. None like this grow there anymore. But its seeds must have uh, dispersed all the way here and taken root. Isn't nature beautiful? I can see you love flowers, Melia. I do adore them. I like nothing more than finding new species on our travels. How about you, Dunman? Do you like flowers? Uh, oh, yes, I like them. I'll be honest, not really. I, I mean, I like flowers. I don't see why Dunban wouldn't. Dunban are... I mean, Dunban's cool, and... I don't see why you would dislike flowers. You do? This is surprising. I said the wrong thing. I didn't get that impression from you at all. Why would you not like flowers? Like... I guess not liking them, but being indifferent to them? I don't know. I wouldn't say that I don't like them. Haha, <laughs> and you think it's wise to judge a book by its cover? That was not my intention. It's just that I pride myself on being a good judge of character. Fair enough. Well, it just so happens that you're right. Flowers have never interested me. The reason is... Ah, great. One day they wither and die. Their pungent smell. There's no way that Dunban would be like, I hate that He uses block. Wait a minute. This man has his main attack called Blossom Dance. Blossom. A blossom is a flower, is it not? How are you going to say that he doesn't like flowers? That doesn't make any sense to me. I blame the game developers. There we go. Okay, I fixed the affinity thing. I see. Flowers are transient, so it is hard to get attached to them. As with soldiers in battle, death is always knocking. You're very wise, Melia. To put it another way, I feel that loving a single flower is wrong. If we concentrate on one flower, the rest of the garden may be lost. Ah, oh, man, this got really philosophical. The water and the soil, the land and the skies. Which is most important, I do not know, so I give my attention to all. Okay, now, that's pretty awesome. I started thinking about it like that in my younger days. I'd never considered it from that perspective before. You see things very differently to me, it is most intriguing. I intrigue you now. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I know the perfect flower for you, the renowned star drop. None can deny its beauty. All other flowers bow down and, wi and wilt at its magnificence. Lovely as it sounds, I'll have to pass. If it's a present, I won't say no, but only because it's you, Melia. All right, Dunban turned that around very philosophically, but I would I would still say that it makes no sense for the correct answer there to be that he's not interested in flowers. His main attack is Blossom Dance. Like, come on, game. You got to give me some slack on that. Anyways, let's go to Aerith Sea and do Ricky and Sharla's, because that was another one I saw. I've got to spawn in before it actually shows me the heart-to-heart -heart locations on the map. We'll get at least at least one more done, maybe a few more. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after this next one. I hope I really need to get them right because the affinity boost they give is very useful. Uh, there's one over next to Ether Plant. Where are the others? Uh, there's more than just one. There's one next to uh, there's one on Sleeping Dragon Isle, and then there's one at the Serath Lighthouse and Hovering Reef Two. So that's three, four. I know where four are. I think there are only four. Let's go to Ether Plant first. Hi, Drac. Jarek, how have you pronounced your name? Where is this heart to heart? Is it down beneath? I think it's down beneath. Ow. My knees. Is it here? I don't think so. Where's this heart to heart at? Was it up above? I didn't see it up above. Maybe I just didn't notice it. 
Are there only four heart to hearts in all of Aerith Sea? Or did I just not notice one? I went to the affinity chart instead of heart to hearts. What am I doing? Do, do, do. Aerith Sea. Uh, it says there are only three, but I saw four on the map, which is confusing, to say the least. Unless I miscounted somehow. Pretty sure there was one over at one of the Hovering Reefs, there was one at Serith Lighthouse, there's one here, and then there's one on Sleeping Dragon Isle, right? Pretty sure that's what I saw. Is this one over on the teleporter? I didn't see it. Maybe I just wasn't close enough for it to actually show up. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Must have missed it against the background. Kind of blends in a little bit. Uh, this is Dunban and Sharla with level 2 affinity. I've definitely met that requirement. Was this the fourth one that didn't show up? Is it just because I haven't pressed A on it, maybe? Oh, yeah, it's there now. Well, let's do it then. Then we'll also do the one with Ricky, and then we'll probably uh, go back to Makonis Field and continue through the Makonis. A gift for a loved one. Hopefully I can get these right. Done, man. You look happy. I know. You're getting married. What? And to whom, exactly? All right. That was just a wild guess. What's up? Fiora gave me the most remarkable present. Oh, you couldn't do this one until Fiora was a part of the party. That makes sense. Oh, is that what's in your hand? It is indeed. It's a rare insect found only around Colony 9. Take a closer look if you like. Oh, I hate creepy crawlies. Uh, I think I'm fine right here. I I'd love to. Thank you. I, I mean, if you don't like bugs, then don't mess with bugs. Ah, dang it. Sorry, but I hate bugs. Ew, they make my skin crawl. All right, then. Not to worry. Sorry I asked. So you're telling me Fiora doesn't mind them at all? Actually, she likes them just as much as, a, as you do. I once put one in her pocket as a present, and she went berserk. Dunban, newsflash here. No one likes bugs in their clothes. I realized that the hard way. Things were more innocent then. Takes me back, you know. Uh, to when you were a weirdo. I completely get what you mean. I'm not going to call Dunban a weirdo. Hey, doesn't Ryan like bugs? I think he likes most things. He's a bit of an animal lover, too. I think I heard Melia as well, is as well, actually. Uh, she is. How surprising. I'd love to know more about her tastes. What about, um, fruit? Does she like fruit? Nope, she definitely doesn't like fruit. She told me so herself. Why are we talking about Melia? She might be like me. I don't like sweet things at all, really. That's a shame. I love fruit. Everyone's different, I guess. And it's good to learn things about each other, right? It is. Thanks, Dunman. I think I might give Ryan some fruit as a present. You think he'd like it? So that's who you wanted to find out about. Well, Ryan likes basically everything, so you can't go wrong. All right. Well, I, d I haven't gotten any heart-to-hearts where I've been double wrong yet, where I've gotten both of the affinity things incorrect. So that's good. I don't think I've gotten any of the... No, I got one of them where I got both right. That was uh, Dunban and Melia, I think, right? No, no, no. I got one of those wrong. It was uh, Ricky and Shulk. I got both right. Uh, I really hope that it's not the one at Sleeping Dragon Isle, because that's going to be a pain to get to. Let's check out the one here in the lighthouse and see which one this is. Pretty sure it's up top. Where are you at? Right here. What is this one? A uh, Fiora and Ricky max happiness. That's not going to be happening until, like, super post-game. <laughs> uh, go to Hovering Reef 2 and check there. If it's not there, then it's on Sleeping Dragon Isle, and that's not going to be fun to swim out to. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do for these heart-to-hearts. Off we go. All right, let's check out this one. Is this the heart-to-heart -heart that I see? There's a random chest just lying there. That happens sometimes. I just walk around and find chests all willy-nilly. It isn't down beneath the reef, is it? That would be annoying. Uh, there is not an area beneath this reef, it looks like. Not that I can see easily, is at least. So that must mean it's on the reef somewhere. I just don't see it. Where are you at? Oh, there it is. I wish they would pop into existence when you're further away. Ricky and Sharla, this is it. Cool. 